Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see a very amazing thing, which is uh, how to zoom image in Android Studio or in your Android app. So I hope you all are using Instagram and maybe you know the one feature of Instagram. You can zoom any kind of content on Instagram on your entire screen. And if you left your fingers, it automatically come on the initial state. So that same thing we are going to create in today's video. So before starting this video, let's see a demo what we are going to do. So I open this application. You can see it contain an image view. So if I so if I zoom here, so you can see I am able to zoom this entire image view on an entire screen. And if I left my fingers, it automatically come onto the initial state. So the same thing we are going to create in this video. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video. And if you don't like the video, now, then please like the video. And if you don't subscribe the channel, then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification. So now let's start the video. So for creating this application, first of all, open your render studio and let's create a new project file new new project empty activity click on next you can give any name it is your choice so image view zoom tutorial i give this application name you can give you can select any language i use java then our project is building so let's wait for a minute so project is built successful so open your activity main xml file so you can implement this kind of functionality in any kind of your android app if you are working on recycler viewer or any app so it is better to watch this video till end so you don't need to worry about anything in future about this so relative layout i select here then delete this so first of all you have to take a basic image view it is your choice where you want to take your take image view in your profile activity or any area we want but just take a basic image view after taking the image view, you have to set any layout with an any layout height. I am setting it hard coded, but you can set any, it is your choice. So I am setting it to 120 dp. Then give any ID, it is a compulsory to give any ID. So I give the ID here, image view. Then after this, we have to set a source. So first of all, leave this for a blank and I open my previous project to copy the source of the image. So I open this project and this is the image which I am going to use inside my project. You can use any image, it is your choice or you can use load the image from your glide using glide or any resource it is your choice so i am using this hidden tricks image then i am setting the center in parent pass to to place this image inside a center so that's done now the main work inside our main activity so first of all take an image view here image view and then after this you have to assign the xml id into java id image view equal point view id r dot id dot image view you can give any id name it is your choice now the thing which we are going to implement the functionality by using a library which is known as zoomy library. So for implementing zoomy library open your build.gradle module app and inside this we have to add a dependency. So I will provide the derived link of the dependency you can directly copy the dependencies or if you want to type the dependency manually you can type it. So control C and you have to type just it as it is. So I type bot dependency here now click on sync now so it will add these dependencies. So after this we are ready to write the code. So dependency set up correctly and we are ready to write the code. So first of all, and in this video, I am also going to tell you how to set on click listener because you can perform only uh, one single thing on a single element. Let us suppose you are zooming with two fingers, then you have to zoom the image. If you are clicking on that image, you have to perform different thing. But if you use zoomy library, it is not possible to set on click listener. So I will also tell you how to set on click listener using the help of zoomy library. So let's see. So first of all, you have to use a zoomy zoomy. So it is showing error. So you have to import this all plus enter, then dot builder, then give any class object name. I give the builder, then new zoomy dot builder, pass the context here. This then after this, you have to set the target. What are the target you want? So I want to set the zoom on my image view. So I set it to image view. Then you have to type here, it is your choice whether you want to animate your zoom or effect or not. So I am setting it to false, but it, you can set it to true. It is your choice. Then you can you have to type here enable inverse mode and pass it to false. Then after this, if you want to set an on-click listener on your image view, you have to use this new the tap listener. So it automatically write the whole code. Here you can add any toast, it is your choice, get application context, click, you can give any message, it is your choice. Now those dot length short dot show. And at last, we have to add a semicolon here. That's it. Now at last, what we have, we have to register this builder. So you can see we enable the entire functionality of this using a five or six lines of code and all thanks to this Zoomy library or the creator of the Zoomy library. So now let's check our app whether the app is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video. So I connect my phone and I press on run button and Gradle start building. 
so grid will be successful and it will going to install the application inside our phone so application installed successfully so if i tapping on this i get the toast of toast clicked so if i am zooming this you can see i can zoom this image view on entire screen and if i left it come on the initial state so i hope guys you learn something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the video if you have any question just comment down below so thank you see you soon in next amazing video thank you